Hey everyone, how's it going? So, I've been playing Sonic Fan Remix, okay? Now, this came out roughly 10 years ago, and it's kind of like a tech demo, but there are um, free working levels, and you know, the graphics are really impressive. The whole thing was built in Unity, which is a pretty neat platform, and I thought I'd um, just get right into the game and, you know, we could just explore it together, really. So I really love creating content like this, guys. Now, you may notice that they've gone for a really sort of, I wouldn't say realistic look, but it's almost like um, hyper-realism, you know? Everything kind of looks, um, I mean, obviously it's all kind of, um, you know, 3D and, you know, kind of um, pre-rendered, I would assume. But um, I really love the look of all of this, you know, it, I just think it looks brilliant. And, uh, you know, that Sonic 2 boss in the background is kind of, like, oddly terrifying, you know. Uh, I was actually thinking, you know, when I was um, young, one of the first games I ever bought was Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive. It's called the Genesis in the United States. And the final boss was really scary the first time I did it. And, you know, I've been thinking about this a little bit. The reason why is, for a start, I don't think you really had any rings. Okay, so one wrong move and you're dead. But it isn't like today where you've got save states and whatnot. If you literally died, you would, you know, and you lost all of your lives, so you would have to start again from the beginning of the game. And not only that, when you don't know what you're doing and there's this, um, you know, gigantic sort of golem, it's, it's kind of, you know, really terrifying. Um, but yeah, I, I do love, um, I do love this look. Uh, if I'm going to be a bit critical about it, I'd say there's probably too much going on in the screen. Uh, you, you know, like it's um, pretty busy and it's uh, sometimes a bit hard to see the enemies. One of the good things about the, um, earlier Sonic games is they were, you know, very, very clear. So, you know, the colours were easily distinguishable. So um, it was um, very easy to see. Whereas this is a lot more sort of blended together. You know, there's a lot of um, green and blacks and, you know, even some browns and blues. So it's quite a dark colour scheme. But, you know, I, I quite like that in a way. Um, it's, I don't know, kind of slightly dystopian. I There's a lot of um, details in here, which I absolutely love. So, for example, if you look at the background, you know, the, the clouds are kind of stunning, you know. Yes, they're um, kind of green and, um, you know, you've sort of got panorax layers of, you know, different clouds and stuff, but it really works. I mean, also, even though the um, items in the background are rocks, they kind of remind me of, um, you know, city blocks. So, you know, it, it would even possibly look even better if, um, they had city blocks back there. Um, you know, to be honest, one of the things I, I've i always loved about Sonic, especially when I was young, was the fact that when you looked off into the distance, it looked, it looked like there was a whole other world out there, you know? And I, you know, I would occasionally sort of um, fantasize of what it would be like if you went into that world and um, sort of explored it a bit more. And, you know, I sort of realized um, these are games, obviously, but I, I don't know, I just love the immersion that um, a lot of the early Sonic games created, especially um, in the first few levels of the game, you know? Um, I Like like Angel Islands, for example, I, I always wanted to go into the background and sort of, you know, just explore and, you know, see what was there, really. Um, so, yeah, um, I am actually really inspired by um, a YouTuber called Red Hot Sonic. And he's made some really fantastic Mega Drive content over the years, um, especially around Sonic, hence his name. But um, I, I'm absolutely inspired by him and a lot of his fans. And I I don't exactly want to sort of duplicate what he's doing, but I, I, I don't know, I just want to create that kind of content, you know? It's something that's really fun to, to, to play, to learn. You guys may also notice in the background right now um i didn't notice notice this earlier but when you get up high and you can see the water in the background you sort of see all those little uh, glints right and 
what, what I find really cool is they're actually the same kind of glints that you would actually see on the beginning of Sonic 2. So, you know, if you think about the um, opening screen, the, the little kind of flashes, I, I think they're pretty much the same thing. But, you know, they really work in this. Although perhaps not, um, you know, in a sort of rainy setting. But yeah, you can kind of see them again now. And, you know, I have to say that this tech demo, okay, maybe they could have made it a bit simpler, right? But it, it does kind of work, you know? I mean, I do like the colors and whatnot, and a, a lot of the um, models that they've um, designed are beautiful. And, you know, in terms of gameplay, I feel that um, obviously you guys can't feel it, but um, Sonic really moves like he um, used to in the Mega Drive games here. Um, I also love those, um, you know, birds in the background, you know, they look great. At first I thought they were flickies, but I, I actually think they're just the, you know, standard birds that you set free. <clears throat> and I really do love the um, sort of Native American um, sort of poles, you know, they're, they're brilliant. Um, and uh, even, you know, like I say, um, the background in this is just brilliant. I mean, I'm even kind of looking at the background more than the foreground to a certain extent, you know. Um, again, um, it's probably easy to criticise stuff on here, but, you know, you should remember that this was done in um, Unity about 10 years ago, and I think there were three people working on this, um, mostly with a bit of help and stuff. So, you know, this is, um, you know, really, really impressive work, really. And it's great that it works so beautifully in the Unity engine. You know, if there was a full game like this, I'd quite happily play it. And again a lot of the um badniks are they're fun they're you know um for example the fish as you might have noticed they sort of uh, flip around and you know that that's kind of a bit of a creative twist but you know you think about the fact that the um you know fish they've got sharp bits on their body so it would kind of make sense that they would actually flip around if they were real again um you can actually die on this level if you're not careful so you know if you fall down too far then you know you can kind of be squished which you know is kind of again pretty good um obviously i'm not getting up there <laughs> again there's some um, tiny bit of lag um in places but i think that's just down to my computer really um there's no reason why it should lag but yeah overall i was um so happy with this um well not really the run through but you know, I just this tech demo, I just thought it was um, brilliant, really. Like, again, um, I know I've already mentioned this, but if they could have made the um, enemy stand out a bit more, that might be quite beneficial. See, guys, I can't believe I died right there. <laughs> So I'm going to actually go back through the level, but I'm going to go um, a bit more quickly, guys. So, you know, I'm not going to really hang around so much. So it's um, a bit more of a chase. Again, I love those um, lights with the sort of um, 360 approach. And like I said, I assume a lot of this was pre-rendered in 3D and then it was put back into the game. So actually, if you look at um, some of the original Sonics, they actually have some 3D um, rendered stuff. So, uh, I mean, the thing that springs to mind is the um, Sonic 1 special stages, where you would actually have, um, you know, fairly rudimentary um, 3D fish and whatnot. Um, obviously, that was, um, you know, a lot of um, pre-rendered stuff there. But nevertheless, they sort of use it to great effect in here. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this. I personally think it's um, an absolutely fantastic tech demo, and it's kind of a shame we didn't actually make any more of this, to my knowledge. Obviously, this um, was hosted on Sonic Retro, and it was a bit difficult to actually find this on the internet, so I'm really glad I did, because I saw some footage of it, and I thought, heck yeah, I want to play that. I want to do a lot more of these in the future, guys, so if you kind of enjoy this content, then please do let me know like and comment and subscribe for more and just keep an eye out i guess